Tech Talks Delivering Happiness at South by Southwest. We're joined by co-founder of GroupMe, group texting application, Jared Hecht. Thanks for joining us on the, on the Delivering Happiness bus. Thanks for having me, Frank. So can you just tell us a little bit about GroupMe and what you do day to day? Sure. Um, we do free group messaging and conference calling for everybody. Um, our product works on all phones. doesn't matter if you have a smartphone or a dumb phone, you can use GroupMe. Um, and we use SMS, and we also have uh, mobile applications on iPhone, Android, and BlackBerry where you can actually chat over data. When we started GroupMe, it literally solved a very, very simple problem. Uh, Steve, my co-founder, uh, and myself have known each other through music uh, through years. We went to shows together, we went to music festivals together, but we never really had a good tool to stay in touch with each other and our groups of friends during these live events. Um, so we created GroupMe to solve that very specific problem. Um, and it was wonderful. It worked right away. Uh, and what we've come to realize was that GroupMe just didn't solve our specific problem, but it solves problems for people all across the country right now, all across the world right now, um, which is really cool. You know, people use GroupMe to chat with their families, to stay in touch with their coworkers, to stay in touch with their friends from college. And what we've noticed is that GroupMe brings people closer together, at least the people in their lives that are important to them. Now, I draw inspiration from our users, truthfully, our users and our team. Every single day, we get support emails telling us how GroupMe is changing people's lives, how it's bringing them closer to the people in their lives that are actually important to them. Uh, and that's about as inspirational as it can become. You know, we hear these use cases about people who create a group uh, for people who are recovering from surgeries in the hospital, and we're making a significant impact in people's daily lives for the better. Um, so that's about as good as it can get. That's motivation for keeping on going. I'm passionate about mobile right now. I think that you know people with these devices in their hands all the time is enabling to them to do some really fascinating and cool things that are improving their daily lives, whether it's talking to people on a daily basis, whether that's you know all the location features that exist right now. It really makes life easier and it's bringing people closer together. So we're, it's a space we're really grateful to be in. Favorite tech innovation that brings me happiness every day. So I think there's uh, one new startup out there who I just learned about yesterday that will bring me happiness every day. Uh, it's a cool company that I learned about last night called Zarly. Um, and I think what they actually, essentially what they do is they say, I'm willing to pay this for this specific good right now. And I can blast it out there to the world and then 30 minutes later I'll have it in my hands. And I think that's really, really cool. Great for lazy people with some disposable income, um, but at the same time I think it's, it's a great product. So I'm, I'm stoked about that. I would love to see uh, free cable and Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, that's my dream. And a service that's unbelievably reliable and awesome. I would love to see uh, free cable and Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, that's my dream. And a service that's unbelievably reliable and awesome. Um, I've always wanted to see that, so hopefully one day. Before GroupMe, uh, I was at another New York City startup called Tumblr, uh, and I was working on a side project there. Uh, and it was a social recommendation engine, essentially, um, a place for me to find restaurants that my friends had recommend, recommended. And I got so infatuated with this concept uh, and so involved in it and kind of put all my chips into it and I, you know, brought in developers and a designer and I was paying them and I thought it was the biggest idea ever that would take over the world. Uh, and I never even completed it whatsoever. Um, so in my mind it wasn't necessarily a failure, but it was sort of like a stepping stone. Um, and it sort of taught me that, well, you can't get too caught up uh, in the present so much. You know, you can't get too infatuated with one specific project, I don't think, um, because you never know what's around the bend.